Hey everyone, this is Brazina. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Nega Kickass 2 Armored Kickass action figure. And, uh, 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 there's a quick look at it right there. We're going to put it on to the side, take a look at the packaging real quick. Put it to the side because you can't fit it all in frame. Foc uh, focus. And, uh, as you see, it's just the normal Kick Ass 2, just like we have with uh, Colonel Stars and Stripes. Really nice background. Also available, Colonel Stars and Stripes, and Hit Girl, yada yada yada. We well, you know it, typical clamp shell packaging from NECA. Moving on. I wanted to love this figure. I really, really did. But, it's just a big combination of QC issues and everything. And I just don't like the way the figure is sculpted. I don't like the way it's constructed. It's just... <laughs> Moving in here, we'll go ahead and get a look. And you see, he's got a really good face sculpt. Really good face sculpt. And he also has an alternate, which is the unmasked Dave Lazuski. And it looks close enough to Alien to... <clears throat> Shit. Oh, should know that name. It's my own name. Aaron Taylor Johnson. There we go. John's pro. Aaron Taylor Johnson. Yeah, I should know the first name because that's my name, damn it. But anyways. Yeah, it looks close enough to him. And his other accessories, uh, of course, are some alternate hands. Which I'll have a gripe about those in a second. And also his little um, beating sticks. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what these are called. Now you can take these and you can store them in the back. Just like he does in the film and everything. Really nice. I, you know, Of course the detail is just awesome. It's neck. Detail is always going to be awesome. Especially for this scale. <sighs> now here we're going to get into some gripes. First off, shoulders are very fucking stiff on mine. And I don't know why. And uh, I like his double jointed knees. But they are very hindered, and you can't really do too much because of these brackets right here. You can see them here too. I mean, um, can you see those brackets? They're just, uh, they hinder articulation, and they're very flimsy feeling. I mean, I, I feel like I could just right now. And also, this hinders his articulation right here so much so that it's already ripped on me. Yeah, I won't tell if you can see it. Right there. The little, it's already ripped. I had this figure for over a month, and I just, you know, took it out of the package, uh, filled it with some articulation and everything, noticed that this leg over here is stuck, I can't get it to move, <laughs> tried the hot water trick, all that jazz, it won't work. So, this leg right here is permanently frozen, and I can't do a damn thing about it, and I think it's just because the peg inside here is malformed, you know, the peg that allows it to go like this. So, yeah, I have a broken strap on the left leg, and the right leg is completely frozen in place. On top of that, put your arms down, take that head sculpt off, you're going to notice something here. It won't go on! I mean... Just so you, because that, that, that dipped down, just so you know, it's not the peg moving and everything. Looks perfectly fine. Line it up. <clears throat> the hole is far too small. God, that really fucking strained me trying to put that on. Look at, look at my, look at my thumb. Look at my thumb, look at that. Look at that. That's from trying to put on this fucking spiky ass hair. This figure does. It's, it's not the ball peg, because. Let me. Uh, hang on, let me line it up. That goes on just fine. No problem whatsoever. It's this head sculpt. I can't get it to go on. I've warmed it up. You know, it's like really super hot. I mean, it had, air, it had hair dry on it for about, I'm gonna say, five minutes, maybe even six. It was super, super malleable. It just wouldn't go on. So the hole is just far too small. Also, the hands, the way they're painted, they, it makes them super, super stiff. And if you try to... I can't get it to move. 
it's literally locked in place. And once you get it to move, the paint's gonna crack like this one. So basically, these accessories are fucking useless. And like I said, on top of that, I just don't like the way the figure's constructed because you can't pose it too much at all. Especially with this right here, I mean, they, the most you can do is like move the leg back like that. <laughs> you barely move the leg forward like that. You don't get that much range of motion at all out of this guy. And it's just, literally it's like, eh, and then eh, and then you start getting breakages. This is, wow. I mean, just, it's not even that iconic of a look for kick-ass, you know? It's it's always him in the green jumpsuit. Sure, it's up under there, but, you know, it's it's Big Daddy's armor. It, I, don't, I haven't seen the movie in about a year, so I'm not sure if that's supposed to be so misaligned like that. I mean, you can still see the Big Daddy symbol up under there, but I don't, I don't know. I'm not happy with this figure whatsoever. Like I said, I've had it for a month. Probably a month and a half, and I have yet to review it because I was so dissatisfied with it. I couldn't get anything to work with it. It just started getting breakages like that when I started moving the figure, so... I think it's pretty easy to know where I'm going to go with this. Pass. Go, just pass. Because this... It's not worth the money. I paid ten bucks. I paid ten bucks for this. That's cheap! For NECA, that's half off! And I still don't feel it's worth the money. Just, ugh. I don't know what's... Mm. That, mm. NECA, I think this is probably the worst figure you've ever made. Detail, everything's nice. You know, it's aesthetically pleasing, except for, you know, you can't fucking move it. It looks nice! You know, put, put it on a shelf, it'll look nice, but... Just not poseable enough. You can't really. The options are very limited. I mean, at least with mine, because this shit. I mean, you can't really pose these hands at all without having the paint rip off. So that really sucks. Let me just go ahead and show you. And you see, he's got a little gauntlet like that. They, they don't. They didn't put any paint on this one whatsoever. Which thankfully, it's not really going to matter if you put, have paint on these or not because they're going to be inside the little little sleeve that comes off, like the little protector. Let up if I focus. A little protector like this, right? And you put the ball peg in there, and then you put it inside the hand. There we go, get some lining in here. Yeah, just put it like that and that. The hand, the spare hand, you put it in there like that. And of course you'll see the big gaping hole right there. And when you put it on, ugh, Jesus, there we go, it's, it's, it's hard, it's like all the ball pegs are just a little too big on the interchangeable accessories, or, hey, the holes are too small, so it's like the pegs are too big and the holes are too small on the accessories, and that's, I don't know. Yeah, I'm glad this could be in my collection so I can pose it next to my Colonel Saurus and Stripes. But this Colonel Saurus and Stripes figure is a hell of a lot better than this. Make sure he's got a strap on his little burger right here. But you get a really good range of motion out of this. That, you can barely move. It's just not iconic, you know, like this. This is, you know, it's Colonel Saurus and Stripes. You know, it's Jim fucking Carey. You couldn't even get the actor head sculpt on here, so... <laughs> It's not even Kick-Ass's iconic look. It's just him and Big Daddy's armor, so... Pass! <laughs> uh, sorry for headphone users there. Pass. Really, just pass. This is... Mm, no. No. Sorry. Uh, not happy with this, NECA. Not happy with this at all. Anyways, I've been DeBrid Zeno for Clean Phoenix Entertainment. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them in the comments down below. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. When a little coda trying to get this out, look what it did to the fucking paint!